Welcome to our fourth episode of MLK News. In this episode, we'll be covering the MLK March principal, principal interview and behind the scenes. We'll also be covering the dangers of the choking challenge and Ask SEM. Our first story is on the MLK March by Alice and Jennifer. Enjoy! Shows off our leader of our school. Um, it represents who Martin, Martin Luther King was and what he stand up for f back then and we're celebrating it. Because it shows that a, there's a lot more races than you know, white people out there that can be a lot more fabulous and beautiful. Dark skinned people are the best. We are cool. Yeah. We all have pain. We all have sorrow. But if we are wise, we know that there's always tomorrow. Lean on me when you're not strong, and I'll be your friend. And our next, next story, we'll be covering the principal interview by... Hi, I'm Wesley. And I'm Jacquis. And we are going to be interviewing Mr. Essien about the vending machine. Hello, my name is Jacquis Payne, and we're here to interview you about the vending machine. Okay, um, greetings. Uh, my name is Michael Essien. I'm the principal here at Dr. Martin Luther King Junior Academic Middle School. What, do you have to, what are some of your questions? When is the vending machine going to be ready? That is a very good question. When are vending machines going to be ready? Uh, there are some problems with the vending machine uh, that exist with the company that actually built the vending machines. Apparently there's a problem with the voltage and so the district is actually trying to correct that. I've been talking to people in nutritional services and they have not gotten back to me with a timeline. The only thing they've actually told me is that they're trying to correct the matter as fast as possible. So the vending machine is going to have some healthy options for students. Uh, students can maybe choose some sandwiches. Uh, there might be some type of wraps. But and with the vending machine, uh, there will be complete meals, and nobody will have to pay. Um, just being able to put in your student number, uh, all the food will be free. Sensational. Our next story is on behind the scenes by Jason Romeo and Chase. Sensational. How do you work behind the scenes? Oh, we um, we're the anchors of student news, and we introduce the videos, and stuff like that. And yes, pretty Thank much. That's it. Welcome. We ask them questions, and we just wait for them to give us an answer. It's never too late to change your love. So don't let them steal your life. Uh, I get taught how to do stuff. Uh, I thought that basically we needed a place where students could talk about what was going on in their school and uh, a place where students could be creative but also learn some skills like video editing and I thought that this would be a really good forum for that to happen. I think that students have a lot of difficulty with the deadline. We're trying to get it so that we can get an episode out at least every two weeks and in my dreams it would be that students get it out every single week if we have a new episode. Uh, I would like students to be really creative and use this as an outlet to talk about issues that are important to them. Uh, I would like to get to a point where students 
are using the news as the news is to, to really be used. I think it was very interesting. Now we're going to be covering the dangers of the choking challenge by Kenny and Calvin. Kids, don't try this because it's dangerous. You could pass, you could die. Obviously, go pass out. Okay, I'm done. Bye. I think from a scientific standpoint, it's very dangerous. Um, what can happen is that you stop breathing, and sometimes, if you have a lot of pressure on your chest and you stop breathing, sometimes you don't start breathing. And so, it actually has a chance to be fatal, and it can be very, very, very dangerous to stop someone from breathing. So dangerous, Mr. Davidson tried it one time. He almost died from it, you see. Of course, I won because I'm the king at choking people, you see. I got large hands, so I'm amazing. But the danger is that you can really pass out. Mr. Davidson, you see, right, Davidson? You passed out? <laughs> as you see, he doesn't like to talk about it. He as well did it one time. Your assistant, look at your assistant. Since when you lying? Since when? All right, it might have been my dream. I don't know. But you see, the danger is so high because, you know, I'm an amazing person. I'm trying to choke. What year were you born? He said. What year was I born? Wow, that is such a personal question. I was born in the best year ever, 1967. All right, so I want to ask Mr. Essien, when is the food go be in the vending machine? Food be in the vending machines. That is a very good question. We do not have a targeted date for that to occur. Uh, there are some problems with the voltage. Uh, the district is trying to correct the matter, and there is no timeline for when that will be completed. So I don't have an answer for that. My apologies. Um, so I know that you were a teacher before you were a principal, and I'm wondering what you miss the most about teaching. What do I miss most about teaching? Oh, I love being in the classroom. So um, I miss most the interactions with students. Um, I was an algebra two trig and geometry teacher. So one of the things that uh, I truly miss are students when they discover something, that aha moment, that actually made me feel good to see students discover something new and increase their learning. Mr. Epstein, what is your favorite color? What is my favorite color? Uh, when I was young, uh, up until about the age of about seven, my favorite color was purple. And then I switched to blue. Blue has been my favorite color uh, ever since, even until now. What is your favorite movie? What is my favorite movie? I have a lot of movies that I really enjoy, but the movie Gladiator uh, with Russell Crowe, that is my favorite movie of all time. Thanks for watching MLK News and stay tuned for the next episode. Okay, bye. Shh.